when I was a child. Mm. So, you know, this is where, again, dreaming of possibilities of things, seeing things that aren't possible. Um, but I think that the thread and to answer your question, it was these ideas around curiosity, mm. this idea of doing things that led me um, to to go after, I wouldn't say totally passions, but, but areas that interested me deeply or I saw opportunity. Mm. Um, so why I first went to China um, to live and work, uh, you know, very early in the 90s. Uh, why I decided to leave all that when China was really booming and start over, so to speak, in Silicon Valley, which was just emerging mm. at the time. And then why I left an emerging Silicon Valley um, to ship things up and, and move over here to Europe. Mm. Um, so, so there was always, I've done a lot of reinventing. We can, we can talk about that. I think there's some themes there when you do it enough that, that you, you figure out how to do that kind of more quickly and shift. Mm. And, I, and I think that's a skill that we all need to kind of in the changing world. Yep. And, that um, one we and, I'm, and I'm very fine. I'll just say one, one, one last thing here, huh, which is, um, you know, I'm very fond of this saying by the anthropologist Margaret Mead, and, and she said that um, never doubt that a small group of dedicated people can change the world. Mm. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And that, you know, that comment, I've also seen it, I've lived it, I've done lots of uh, things and, and been really privileged to be parts of whether that's organizations, teams, or now what I'm doing, kind of co-creating and working with executives um, about making a difference. Um, and I think you really have to, have to be dedicated and work with others to make that happen.